The Unicorn and His Friends by Mahika, aged 11 short stories for kids. Today we have a book named The Unicorn and His Friends by Mahika, aged 11 short stories for kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful island. In the island meadows, there lived a young fairy named Isotopia. She had a pet monkey named Poppy. Isotopia and Poppy were simple beings with simple tastes and lifestyle. They lived in a small, simply furnished house. On the same island, there also lived a unicorn who had a special ability of flying very high and far. The only dream of Isotopia was that someday she would ride on the unicorn. One day, Isotopia was alone at home and Poppy had gone to eat some bananas. When he climbed a banana tree and started eating, he saw that the unicorn was also standing down below. He was looking at him. Poppy was not an ordinary monkey. He was very wise and could understand the language of every animal on the island. He dropped down some bananas to the unicorn also and said, Would you allow me to ride on your back someday? The unicorn replied, You have fed me tasty fruit. You can surely ride on me. Poppy was exhilarated. He jumped on the unicorn's back and the unicorn flew high up in the sky. Poppy enjoyed very much. When the unicorn landed down, Poppy said thanks for the ride. I had never imagined how different an experience this would be. I am Poppy. What's your name? The unicorn said my name is Uno. Will you be my friend? Poppy said, of course I'll be your friend. They played together. When it was late, Poppy said goodbye to Yuna. On reaching home, he told Isotopia all about the unicorn. She exclaimed, Oh, how wonderful! I wish I could ride on him as well. Poppy, please will you take me to the unicorn tomorrow? Poppy accepted her request. Next day, when they went to meet Yuno, they saw that five wicked men had tied Yuno with a rope, were pulling him him, forcing him to go with them. Isotopia asked, Why are you doing this to the poor unicorn? One of the men answered, Say nothing, girl. A unicorn is a very rare find. We are Ayaki to come across him. We will earn loads of money from him. And saying this, the man pushed back Isotopia. The five wicked men then took away Yuno. Isotopia and Poppy felt sad for Yuno, but those five men, from the neighboring village on the island, were famous for their notoriety, so Isotopia and Poppy decided to keep silent. They knew where the men lived. They made a plan to save Yuno. When night fell, they went to the men's home. Then, they secretly added a sleeping potion in their food. Unfortunately, only two of the men ate that food and fell into a deep sleep. The remaining three men had dinner outside were sleeping in another room. Isotopia locked the door of that room from outside. Now Poppy tried to untie the rope with which Yuno was tied but the rope was fastened very tightly. So, when Poppy tried to open the rope, Yuno got hurt and uttered a cry of pain. The three men woke up, while two were in a deep sleep. They understood that Yuno's friends had come to free him, but found that their door was locked from outside. They started pushing and kicking the door, and after a few minutes managed to break the door and came out. When they came out, Suddenly, Yuno's rope came free. The men came running towards them, but Isotopia and Poppy jumped on Yuno's back. One of the men caught Poppy's tail, 
But when Yuno started flying, let go of the tail and fell down. All the men stared at them in anger, disappointment, but what could they do now? During their flight, Poppy told Yuno all about Isotopia. Yuno became friends with Isotopia, too. Suddenly, Poppy and Isotopia noticed that Yuno was descending to the ground and had brought them to a strange place. They were in very bright light, so they closed their eyes. When they opened their eyes again, they saw that they had reached a huge castle glistening in golden light. Poppy and Isotopia couldn't believe their eyes. Poppy asked Yuno, Where have you brought us? Yuno said, This castle belonged to my parents. Where are they? asked Poppy. They are probably no more, for all I know. One day, they had gone to the forest about six months back, never returned, answered Yuno in a sad voice. But maybe they are still alive, said Isotopia. How much I wish that what you say is true, said Yuno in a low voice. Suddenly, a sound came from behind the bushes. You know, you know, where are you? Oh, that's my mother's voice. But surely I am imagining things, exclaimed you know. No, you know, no. We can also hear this voice and we can also see two unicorns there, said Poppy with excitement. Where? asked you know. There! There, you know, behind the bushes, exclaimed Poppy. Yuno know, looked behind the bushes. His parents were actually there. Yuno you know, ran and rubbed himself against his father and mother. Where have you been, Mommy and Daddy? asked Yuno. Know. A hunter had taken us away after trapping us in a huge net, but we ran and flew and somehow managed to return here today, said his father. Yuno was very happy. He said, Mommy, these are my friends, Poppy and Isotopia. They helped me to escape from some wicked hunters. Please, Mommy, let them stay with us. They are very kind-hearted. Mother said, Yes, son. They can surely stay with us in our castle. Yuno's mother thanked Poppy and Isotopia for saving her child. You know, asked his father, What do you say, Daddy? Can they stay with us? Father said, Yes, they can. You know, was overjoyed. You know, showed his friends the whole castle. The castle was even bigger than what it looked from outside. You know, gave his friends a nice room to stay with beautiful designs painted on the walls and a lovely view from the windows. Isotopia and Poppy liked the castle in their room very much. They thanked Yuno and his parents for their generosity. The three friends happily lived ever after together in the lovely castle. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.